Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have another empties video. This is quite an uh, accumulation over months. Um, and so it looks like it's a ton, a ton, but I just do it until I think I'm ready to do one. Um, I don't want, I don't really do them monthly. So I have a mixture of body, skin. I've even got a candle in here. Uh, so should we just like get into it? I'm just going to take everything out because like some things I'm not even going to, oh, I guess I could talk about it. Like some things I have, I don't use a full product. Like this wasn't a full product, but um, I tried it from work. Like there was a bit left. And because this is sanitary, it's just a squeezy tube. I wanted to just try it. Um, so I just got like the end of the tester bottle. This is the coconut body lotion. It was all right. It wasn't, I wouldn't, it wasn't bad. Um, the only thing is I'm very picky with coconut scents. I don't like it when they're full on. Um, but this was quite nice. I actually quite liked it. Um, let's just do body first. Finished this massive Brazilian boom boom cream. Um, my husband actually used this. So I won this at work in like a raffle. God, you can still smell. There's nothing in there. You can very, very heavy scent still. Um, I used it a little bit because it is a nice cream, but I just don't love the smell. It's too much for me. It's a bit too heavy. Um, but my husband loved it because it's like really nice and rich and thick and it's perfect for this kind of weather. So like these only come out at Christmas. I was very lucky to get this. This is 500 mils. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. This is old, but I, what I did, this is a kit. Remember kit, um, before Mecca? No, Kit was at Maya and then merged with Mecca. I think that's what might have happened. Uh, this is the hand and body wash. I actually don't really use body washes. I use them as bubble bubble soap for my baths um, because they lather up and it cleans, helps, doesn't clean my body. I have to like clean my body, but it's a cleaning agent and it bubbles. This was fantastic. This was Collagen Glow skin firming cream from Redwin, uh, which is sold at Chemist Warehouse, I believe. I got this in like a, it was Lip Timber. I bought the $20 Lip Timber box last September. I finished this, I want to say a couple of months ago. Um, really, really nice. So this is 220 grams. I really thought this was super nourishing. And red one is very affordable. I would repurchase this. I still have some other ones that I want to use, but I would repurchase this like really, really good. And I got this in a box, so it's not something I chose, but I really enjoyed it. So I do recommend that if you're Australian. I think red one is Australian, right? I had this uh, luxury soak. I think I got, it as a, I got it as a gift from K2 Salt Co. I don't know. I think my mum gave it to me. Pink Himalayan salt, ylang ylang, and pink French clay. That is really nice. And then the Carez Body Milk in Neroli Iris. Let me see if I can still smell it. Not my favorite scent, but I bought that little holiday set. Um, and this was one of them. I think I've pretty much finished them now. Okay, I've got a little fragrance tester that I had. This was the, I, I got it ages ago, but Mecca no longer sells Serge Luton, the fragrance brand. And I wish I had known that because I would have bought this fragrance. I didn't even know, they just left. This was the cellophane and it's supposed to smell like roses wrapped in the cellophane with the water drops. It's like a really light floral, very fresh, aqua it's just beautiful and i'm not a real floral person but this was an exception to the rule oh god i just love it um so i finally finished it very sad yeah. hair i finished a bastis instant hair refresh dry shampoo and volume really liked it because it gives you a bit of volume and when i have oily hair like right now it just kind of like sits when i have clean fresh hair it's like voluminous and luscious um, so this kind of makes it feel like it's like that so i would definitely repurchase that and then i have a candle from boy smells which is at mecca this is the damask which was rose apricot lab lab labdanum cardamom 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 oud c 
Sisters, Quake, and Tobacco. I loved this. You can smell the apricot and the cardamom and the oud and the tobacco. It's like if um, something that was spicy was also fruity. Um, so I, I had nothing left, but I could still smell it. Oh God, this was a limited edition, so you can't buy this. My God, I'm gonna try and get it out and repurpose this. Beautiful, beautiful, like maybe like a pencil holder because um, it's a really nice size and then the rest is skincare so I finished two sunscreens I finished the Aveen very high protection 50 plus emulsion so this was a mineral and chemical I think I read but it had the worst white cast I would not repurchase it my fair skin it even made me look more white the white cast didn't go away um, it felt nice, but I would not repurchase it. But I, I used this when I was at home going out in the garden and it didn't matter if it gave me a white cast. So I finished that. And then I have finished the ultraviolet SPF 50 Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial Sun Skin Screen, not sunscreen. I love this. I would repurchase. I have a couple that I need to try. I've got the um, I've got the Emco Beauty mineral version of this with the pink lid. I still have the mineral one of this that I'm using. Um, that's the one I'm using today. And I just got the oh my god, what's the new Australian brand? Glow. Naked Sundays from Mecca. I got that from work and I haven't opened those Emco and that one yet because I want to finish this and my other ultraviolet one before I can open those. Um, so yes, that's that's my goal. Love this. I would definitely repurchase. I just got to um, I got to do that when I finish the other ones. <laughs> Because I would say Ultraviolet is the best sunscreen I've ever used. I've used quite a few now and it's definitely worth the money. It is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Um, I have two, three cleansing balms because I tend to go through those. This is the This Works. I've actually gone through two of these. I got two of full ones from work. I actually really liked it. It's a one minute miracle wash and moisture boost. Just add water. So it goes on as a cleansing balm and then you wash and then like you do you add water and it washes off and it was really good it's actually got vitamin c in it so it was brightening vitamin e a jojoba rich cleansing balm with water activated vitamin c and skin soothing vitamin e so once the water activates it activates the vitamin c really liked it i don't even know if you can get it but i've gone through two tubes of this and i really enjoyed it the uh, little mini of the Dermalogica pre-cleanse, really liked that. I would repurchase that. I think that's a pretty well-known one. And this wasn't full when I got this, but I really wanted to try it. The Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. I liked it, but it's not my favorite. I think I liked the smell and the fact that it was a beautiful sorbet orange. I think I liked the aesthetic of it more than the actual product. I don't think I would buy this. It wasn't bad, but those other two are better, if I'm honest. From Tatcha, I did not get this full, but I think I had like a third. It was it lasted me a while. This was the Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum. Loved this, really nice. It has one of those. I didn't really use it that much, that, that part, but sometimes I did. Um, I, I really liked this very, very hydrating and it was very light under the eyes. If you like a light eye cream, but is deep hydration, I definitely recommend that. Uh, then I had a Kate Somerville Retosphere two in one retinol night cream. So it was like a moisturizer and a retinol night cream in one. God, I loved this. I was very sad when this finished. I don't even know if you can get this. Um, because I often get products that are discontinued. So then we get the product to use because it's not sellable anymore. Um, and I really loved this. It was so nourishing at night. It was thick, but not too thick because it's in like a squeezy tube. 
Um, I, I, I just loved the uh, consistency of it. It felt really nice on my skin before bed and I had retinol in it. it was, but it didn't feel like a heavy retinol. I'm not hugely experienced with retinol, but I really liked this. The REN 3-in-1 Cleansing Water, I did not like it. This is from the Rosa Centifolia range. It stung my eyes really bad. I now have the Bioderma. I have that and I love that. That doesn't hurt my eyes. This is supposed to be for sensitive skin, this brand, and it, it really irritated my eyes. So I would not buy that again. I got this one at work for free full bottle, but I wouldn't buy it. I don't recommend it. And then I had three cleansers. So where we had a little mini of the Drunk Elephant number nine jelly cleanser. Don't rate it. Bloody pointless if you ask me. Uh, it's supposed to be for all skin types. I have dried a normal and I just didn't, it didn't clean enough. And their cleansing balm is not good either. It doesn't, the oil doesn't come off of your face. I don't recommend their cleansing balm or cleanser. I just, people love the cleanser, but I think it's if you don't wear makeup, it'd be all right. But it's just, I use this, which is for, is meant to be gentle and it was better than that. This was a moisturizing, gentle cleanser and it still did a better job than that. This is the Kate Somerville Delicate Delicate Soothing Cleanser. I just finished this. This is for stressed, the Stressed Skin Saver. I bought the three set of the this, the um, serum which I'm still using and the moisturizer that I'm still using, but I go through cleansers quicker. Um, really liked this. I don't know if I buy it again. I think I actually prefer the goat milk one. It was nice, um, but I just think because I wear makeup and sunscreen, I just need something with a little bit more kick, but it was better than the Drunk Elephant. And then this is my favorite cleanser of all time. I've bought a, I just bought the Summer Fridays, is it the Enzyme or Amino Acid Cleanser? I'm really intrigued to try that. But this is my absolute favorite cleanser from Mecca, Pericone Citrus Brightening Cleanser. It used to be in this beautiful glass pump bottle, but they've since put it to plastic. The best. It is so good. If you have my skin type, oh, I think if you were normal, even a little bit oily, you could get away with using this. Um, and it's got vitamin C in it. So it did feel like my skin was fresh and bright. Their moisturizer of the vitamin C range is my favorite all time moisturizer as well. I love Paracone. I love them. Two more products. I finished a mask. This is from Eve Lom, the Rescue Mask. I liked this. This is a clay mask, but it's got chamomile in it, so it's also calming. It didn't strip my skin. Um, I really not. If you want a clay mask that isn't like a lot of them, just dry your skin out. This one actually had skin loving properties in it. I do recommend this one. It's very very nice. And then lastly, I have the New Face Booster Copper Complex. I really like this. So uh, this is good for anti aging. I just used it as a serum. I actually have a new face that I bought in like a work, like auction type of thing, but I haven't used it because I bought it when I was pregnant and then I put it in a drawer and I still haven't used it and I can use it now. I'm not even breastfeeding anymore. So I should do that. I should bring it out. But anyway, this is uh, one of their like add-on serums and it was really nice. I really, really liked it. I think it was like a blue. Yeah, it was like a blue serum. Yeah, so I don't have any makeup because I am saving all my makeup and empties for the end of the year. I'm gonna do one video of how much makeup I used in a year. I'm very intrigued to see how much I actually finish in a year. Um, I am someone that likes to finish makeup, so hopefully I do okay, but I've never monitored it before. So that's why this is all just body, hair, skin, candle fragrance care. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know if you liked. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these little mini reviews of what, if I would buy it or repurchase. Uh, and that completes the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.